you're obviously represented by a legend, yeah. one of the greats of all time, pioneer in the mm -hmm. sport, and Ronda Rousey. And coach, you obviously worked with her. Any similarities in their rise and their stardom? Um, mm -hmm. Let's start with there first. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, t yesterday was one of the days I noticed the similarities because is this the first time we drove to Vegas together? And I would drive to with Ronda to Vegas a lot when she would uh, fight as the main event and yesterday I noticed that even though I didn't even tell him but it was in my mind when I was driving I was thinking about all the moments and that just that quiet ride and then listening to music and then uh, interacting and speaking to each other um, the way I think what um, the way they're prepared and the way like what Rhonda did with that short amount of time how great she was and winning all the you know two titles strike force and UFC and you know putting women on the map and all that it was very, it, it was great, and I think Edmonds doing the same thing in his in in the middleweight division. You know, he's been a pro for I think three or three years, three a years few now, months, yeah. yeah. And you know, that's not that much of a long experience being a professional athlete. And him him being in in a main event in the UFC says a lot. And all the knockouts in the first round, being unique in that way, also um, says a lot. So I think his age, you know, what he's doing, I think that they're unique in a way that they're not only in here just to compete or just to win. They want to win with a fashion and they want to be noticeable and they want to be unique. Unique, And so you could say, Edmund, that, that kid could fight. You know, that that's the guy. That's the guy we want to watch in the UFC, just like what Ronda did. You know, she was... She was the one that you want to watch, even if she was a, it's a she or he, you still wanted to watch her, you know, male, female, doesn't matter. So I think Edmund has the same ability and is showing it. And yes, he wins the title, then we could talk more about it, what the similarities are. But that girl was a champion and I know he's going to be a champion. Is that why you guys decided to drive? together to uh, no make, i think oh. it just i think it just happens but mm -hmm. since we've been doing it for a long time and we plan it automatically we plan it in a way that i've done it already before so it just works out that way so it's not like i want to do things that i've done with ronda with him so i could uh, live that moment again no now we 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 passed that we have to have more champions in our gym and he's going to be the special one that's about it how has that relationship evolved over the years because i know you've been working with her since you were a teenager and she was in her heyday. Oh, it's cool, you know, yeah, like you said, I've worked with her whenever, whenever I was a teenager and her from the beginning, like seeing that rise firsthand and seeing her with all that media and like the championships and all that, like the hype and everything like that, uh, I, got, I got to experience that and just being next to her and like witnessing all that was incredible, you know, not a lot of people get to see that, especially like, she became, she was like a super, she was a superstar. So seeing that and seeing her rise so quickly was motivational for me. And it inspired me to continue working hard and, you know, believing in myself. And then my relationship with her has always, always been good. You know, she, I look at her like a big sister and uh, she always, when, when she's in the room, I always say she always has a positive energy to when, whatever she says. So um, I like to have her always by my side and I, I'm happy to have her as a manager and representing me so it's it's very cool but has she come to the fights though she hasn't came to the fights no i know that yeah when is that going to change um soon uh, yeah soon i think <laughs> yeah. she will she will start making she once, will start once the coming. audience comes back yeah, for sure yeah, she will. next yeah, one for yeah. Sure. Next one, sure. yeah yeah she was supposed to come to for this one she was we had plans that she was going to come to this one but before like when edmund had the fight uh, when was it in March? March, yeah. yeah. March five. She was going to come. She was going to come, one. but things changed. But she will. She will. The right times will come. He's going to be ready for that title shot soon. So <laughs> we'll get yeah. we'll get that going. And I don't consider Helen and I traditional media by the sense, but how has she advised you on handling the media? Oh, how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good I question. I haven't talked to her much about like the media stuff, but she's told me like appropriate things to say and like the correct things to say just kind of stand out a little more mm -hmm. okay yeah That's and fair. like tips tips 